Welcome back to episode two of Let's Play Foundation. Uh, so in the last episode, we got our little village up to the spot it is now. We've got all the basic buildings. We've got a residential zone set up. Uh, so this episode, we're going to focus on really understanding our trade system and trying to get an, a, an economy set up. Uh, in between episodes, we unlocked the reforestation zone. So this will allow the foresters to kind of replant our trees, which is important because uh, the trees are one of our important economic uh, units. It's what we're using as the basis of our economy to generate planks. Uh, so we're going to set this big zone right in here to be uh, reforestation. And we're going to take this person and we're going to uh, assign him to the, the task of forester, which will allow him to start planting trees. Uh, so that's really useful here. We see we've got three houses set up now, these little cute hobbles. Uh, each, each have a capacity of two, and uh, they, they fill up pretty quickly. So even though we've set up this entire zone, they kind of only build houses uh, you know, I haven't been able to figure out how to make them build ha more houses. Uh, so I'm hoping that over time the pressure to have a place to live. You know, so three villagers lack space for housing. I don't know why they're not uh, incentivized to build houses quicker. Uh, but that's something you know, maybe we can figure out. If you know, let me know in the comments. Uh, so next, uh, we really need to get trade going. At last uh, episode, we unlocked trade with Davenport. Uh, so one of the ways that we get trade going is we put planks in here. And so what we do is we come in here and we say, uh, you know, let's, let's sell planks. So let's say, uh, we'll, we'll keep 15. And so if you press this button, it will buy it until we have 15. So anytime we drop below 15, it would buy it from Davenport. We don't want to do that. We want to sell this. Uh, so we're going to sell, uh, select this button, which will sell uh, any that we have above 15 to Davenport. And we see that Davenport will, will buy uh, planks for two gold. So that will help us start generating some revenue for our kingdom. Uh, which currently has 350 gold, and then hopefully we'll see our budget uh, start to go up, right? So we can see we're spending 77 gold on some of our buildings. Uh, the villagers are using 120. Uh, we'll kind of see this going up as we go. You can see now that we're uh, our villagers are buying quite a quite a bit of uh, uh, berries from this trader this is right here. Uh, you can see they're selling berries that are being gathered over here for 32 gold. Well, we want to see this trade income start to go up, so uh, that's what we're going to keep an eye on. So, a sign, great. Uh, oh, I haven't seen this before. My lord, we need to choose who we want to help. We help the king, the clergy, the people, we're keeping it all. So, uh, we're going to get a quest that will be deliver fish. We don't have any fish. Oh man, yeah, we don't have any fish, and the fish were very expensive. Uh, I'm pretty sure that we were going to fail regardless of what we pick because we don't have any fish capability to speak of other than buying it, uh, which was really expensive. But maybe what we'll do is uh, we'll give it a try. Let's see. I don't know what these tools mean. Let's, uh, let's try to help the king. 20, 20. Oh, I don't know if we can get the fish. Let's, uh, let's try. What can go wrong? Okay. So we need to get warehouses. Uh, we need to add a fish slot. And then we're going to have to start uh, trading that pretty aggressively. So let's see if we can... Yeah, they'll sell us. Uh, they'll sell us fish for 100 gold. Oof, that is expensive. We need this guy. This guy is almost behind. So you know, let's try to get some fish. Uh, let's see if we can get any of these fish going. Uh, the workplace is full, so we need to start storing some berries over here. Because it looks like we are. Kind of overloaded with berries. Can we trade berries? Yeah, this guy will buy berries. Good. Right, so let's sell the uh, crap ton of berries. Let's, uh, let's sell. We got a ton of berries. Let's sell as many as we can. We need a trader. How's that work? 
Oh, a trader. Nice. Yeah, so he's buying berries. He's buying blocks. He's buying blocks. So he just wants to buy blocks. Uh, we do need to build a block, uh, a stonemason. So this guy will produce those nice blocks. And we also need to build a place for camp so that we can begin reforesting our trees. So once we get those buildings going, how many builders do we have that now? Let's get need to be another builder. Let's make the new. Let's see. Let's see. Let's So we need to assign tools uh, to our thing. And let's come in here and say we are going to buy tools. Who's so that quest? So now we're just waiting to raise our set our villagers to a status of commoner. Set up our first trade route done. Three villagers lack space for housing. I don't know what to do with that. I have set up... Oh, this, this house has four people living in it. That one does, too. Can I uh, encourage that sort of thing? So, huh. we almost have enough gold to buy another area, which will be really useful because it'll let us kind of expand a bit. Let's make you a forester. Let's make you a stone cutter, stone mason, because those are really valuable. How are we doing over here in carpentry? We've got two people assigned gold. Got one forester assigned. Stone mason so we don't need two stone masons, we can only have one anyway. Uh, so let's make you a transporter for now. All these more transporters. And you can see all oh, these little cute new trees are popping up. That's adorable. Let's make this area over here easier. Probably spread those out a bit. Let's see what we can do here. Warehouse, sawmill. Let's move our sawmill further out. Let's see what that'll do. So now let's move it out here. Okay, and let's move our lumber camp out here as well. Once those are built, we're going to deconstruct these. Uh, let's see if that helps. Our villagers want to live kind of in this area around the town center. And we've got a lot of our, our buildings for production set up over there. So we'll see if uh, spreading that out a bit will help. These trees are coming in nicely. And then we can just turn this whole section in here to the residential. Okay. Now we've got the lumber yard. Let's check that. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Now those are two super villagers. No. Who's 
Sophie. Yeah, we got her already. That's good. And Victoria, who's that? She could look better. Yeah, she'll do. Alright, cool. So once this sawmill is up. Alright, and we've got Forester Camp going. Stone Mason going. Great. So that's coming here. Barring fish. We got no fish yet. Selling fish. Oh, but what we do have is we could buy another plot of land. So which one do we want? Probably this one. Okay. Cool. So now that is a part of our area. And yeah, we can come in here and we can say uh, extraction. Great. Also, maybe buy another city center. I would buy a church. Let's build a church. Right in here. Let's see what this does. Okay. We miss tools. Stone. We're missing stone. So we gotta get stone and tools. So that's gonna be in trade. Get some more tools, get some more stone. Tools, tools, tools. That's good. Ten of you. Good. <coughs> Still waiting on that. Okay. We don't matter chugging along. Get stone cutters, good. Uh, we probably need another warehouse soon. So let's put in a warehouse right here. Oh, we want to not have it be in our highly sought out residential area. doing. Let's put in another market over here by the well. So maybe that will encourage people to want to live and work in this area over here. We also need to paint this as an extraction zone. Okay. Let's put another gatherer's hut over here. So they don't have to walk as far. Okay. We need a bakery. We need a wheat farm. We're waiting on people being elevated to the status of commoner. So I don't actually know how to make people into commoners yet. Let's see if it's in Trade. Cool. Alright, so we have a new warehouse. Right here, set some more stuff in here. Tools, except good Any tools over here. Yeah, what do we do? Right, let's uh, turn it off here. And we're gonna say you are claw. 
polished stone, bread, and wood, and regular stone. So now we'll know what we have over there. So this one will be kind of our high value tradable items. This one over here will be kind of a low value thing. I've got a whole bunch of people unemployed. So let's add some gatherers. Desirability has changed at all. Now that we have. Yeah, so it's pushed in a bit, but not enough to really make this a feasible zoning area for houses. That's okay. We'll keep each other on. And see what we can do. Station happening in here. Let's see if it's also here. Good. We'll make you. As soon as this pops up, let's see if just having people working out here will increase the desirability of, of doing things up here. Yeah, so let's assign somebody. Assign a few people, actually. Now we got three people working out here. And we'll just check and see if. Uh, you know, once they start working and gathering these plants, if uh, that will increase the desirability. Okay, Definitely want to plant some farms out in this region. It should help uh, with our food production. What is this? We're making a low desirability house. Alright, uh, so in the next episode, we'll try to figure out this residential problem. See if we can uh, get to the bottom of why. The desirability of these areas is, is not increasing as we'd expect. Uh, that's it for this time. Uh, if you like this, please be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, hit that bell for notifications. Thank you.